Hey guys, this is Goddess Nicole Tarot. I'm back to bring you another energetic read for the collective for my beautiful and handsome soul tribe members. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your health is doing great. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get a prayer before we get started, guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. Also, be sure to check back periodically to make sure you guys are, in fact, still subscribed to my channel because they still on that BS on both of my platforms, okay? They just won't allow me to be great, okay? So, so make sure you guys are in fact subscribed, okay? With that being said, thank you for the love. Thank you for the continued support of the channel. Thank you guys for just being you. And just thank y'all for loving me and accepting me as your reader here. Thank you so much. I love you guys, each and every one of you guys, okay? With that being said, let's tap into a prayer. Holy Spirit of the highest white light, protect me and protect my collective as I tap into the energies. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you close and shut that portal. Please and thank you guys. And thank you, God. We love you over here. Thank you, how your power. We love you over here, guys. I got some downloads, okay? Let's tap, if I don't burn something down over here, child. Let's tap into these uh, downloads here, guys. Before we go further, I got um, fear of uh, the inedible. So somebody could be fearing the inedible, okay? Maybe when it comes to love, finances, or career, or friendships, okay? Somebody is fearing the inedible something is gonna happen regardless the tower is gonna fall regardless this is what it's giving me with fearing the inedible uh i looked up that and i got maya angelo she was a great poet okay god may she rest in peace okay but i do want to share something about that it says we spend precious hours fearing the inedible it would it would be wise to use that time adoring our families, ch cherishing, cherishing, uh, cherishing our friends and living our lives. So somebody um, is fearing things for maybe family, maybe friends or um, their loved ones. Something here uh, when it pertains to maybe a relationship here. I also got um, using tactics to breadcrumb you. Uh, this could be a him or her here in this um, energy. Somebody was using breadcrumb. They were breadcrumbing you collective. This is what it's giving me here. Somebody is fearing a tower now, the inedible. Something that was done to you, they're fearing that, okay? They're fearing that karma that's coming back on them. This is what it's giving me with this. I also got uh, smoky quartz. So some of you guys could uh, use smoky quartz as healing the smoky uh, quartz is protection here i do have one if you need to see what it looks like okay it's very smoky okay i said the benefits i looked up the benefits of the um excuse me the benefits of the smoky quartz it's a protective stone with a strong uh association with the earth and base chakras okay so some of you guys need some healing for your base chakra and the quartz, the smoky quartz would be the right crystal to use, okay? It says making it ideal for environmental consciousness. So somebody needs to use it to wake up their chakra, okay? And use it for consciousness, okay? To get some type of clarity, okay? Maybe something to do with... Uh, a person that was in your life here or currently in your life take it however resonate somebody is definitely fearing the inevitable and somebody breadcrumbing you okay take it however resonates with you that was the downloads let's hop into some of this uh deck here my uh makeshift deck here mm. all right let's see What we have, Spirit? What is this? Slow to react to your needs. 
somebody held out on you purposely and they breadcrumb me. I was just talking about breadcrumb in my downloads. Somebody was slow to show you love. They did it on purpose. They held out from you on purpose, collective. This is what it's giving me. They they were slow to react to your needs, okay? What you may, may have needed in a family dynamic or relationship, friendship, it says loved ones, okay? So somebody feels like that this, this person may have held out on them on purpose. Jeez. Come through spirit in the downloads. Mm. What else? I'm going to get me some more cards here, child. This the paper. It's just... What is this? <sighs> right. Regret listening to others. So somebody in your energy regret listening to others that breadcrumb you, that was slow to react to your needs, whether that is physically emotionally okay spiritually okay just they were slow to react regrets listening to others okay this could be an old ex family friends it could be people next door such as your neighbor neighbor co-workers okay it could be a number of people here okay that that was slow to react maybe they breadcrumbed you on purpose uh collective okay take it out of a resonance this could be an ex here is regretting and, and they're fearing the inedible. They're fearing that this tower is going to bring in some type of karma to them if they're not already going through it. Now, this could be family, friends that's fearing the inedible, that karma. Okay, these people could have been unhealed. Okay, these people could be unhealed here. Okay, this is somebody that was unhealed and a connection with you. Take it out of a resonance. Flip the rose here, okay? Somebody was very childish here, okay? They were emotionally unavailable here. This is what it's giving me. Mm, mm, mm. What else? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Some of you guys could have tried to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with these people or this uh, ex of yours friend, co-worker, or somebody, or neighbor next door that you trusted, that you've considered as family or a friend, um, this person was unhealed. They were breadcrumbing you. They were slow to react. Now they want to have a heart-to-heart a -heart conversation with you. So somebody may receive some type of contact from these individuals that are unhealed, okay? They did something to you, collective, okay? You guys may need to get a smoky quartz for protection here. Okay, that could help you as a stone or crystal here. We're going to tap into this energy and see why here, okay? Let me result back to my uh, downloads here. Because somebody, I just feel like they trying to avoid this tower. They may want to come back in to avoid this tower. But this could be a him or her. So take it how it resonates. You know, tarot is fluent. I did get intermission too. So somebody may want to, I looked up intro mission. Somebody may want to have sex with you when they come back. It's at the top of my download right here, y'all. Okay. Somebody may want to have sex with you guys to fix this. Because they know they did this shit on purpose to cause pain to you. They know they were unemotionally unavailable to you. Okay. It's all about love. Some some people just don't understand. In a relationship, it has to be about love. Okay? It, it, this could be family, friends, co-workers. It could be a person next door. Like I said, somebody wants to have a heart, and heart conversation with you because they regret listening to other people about you, collective. Okay? Wow, 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 wow. I just feel like somebody slow to react when people talk down on you too collective. They didn't take up for you. They breadcrumb you. They did this shit on purpose because they were not healed. Oh my God. There we go. Let's see. Mm, mm, mm. Give me slow to need to react here for your knees here. Yeah, King of Wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy here, okay? Or you could be uh, either one of those signs, or you both could have it in your chart. Take it however it resonates. The King of Wands here is a, a, a promiscuous man here, somebody who uh, demands attention from the crowd here, somebody who is sexual here. Okay, very in and out your life here. This is not a leader. This is somebody that do not stand up for you. Uh, a king of wands in the upright is a leader here. Somebody who is successful, very self confident and sure in their self. This is somebody that is not sure in their self. They could have insecurities or in uh, self-esteem issues here. This is somebody that could be in and out your life that could be horse too as well. Yeah, something you ended up with. Somebody was breadcrumbing you on purpose. They held out on you on purpose here, collective, okay? Take it however it resonates. Flip the rolls, okay? Eat the meat and spin out the bones here. But something has definitely came to an end here. This person may want to travel. They may want to close the gap between you guys because they regret listening some uh, to people when it came to your needs. They breadcrumb you on purpose. They want to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but you know this person is not healed. They're in the upright. I mean, in the reverse here. In the upright, this person will be healed. Okay, yeah. Something to do with a relationship or a community here. Take it how it resonates. Something is over, okay? Something came to an end because you've realized that this person couldn't have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you. Taking however resonates. They didn't know how to talk to you. They could have been very impulsive, very vicious at the mouth, very disrespectful, okay? This person is somebody who is could be hateful, very uh, sexual, could have addictions too as well, okay? Things that you didn't know that this person had, and they're unprotected here. Could have had unprotected sex with you and uh, multiple people here, okay? And this tower is going to come to this person whether they like it or not. It's inedible. It's going to happen, okay? This is what it's giving me. This person lacks compassion for you, okay? They lacked love for you. They breadcrumb you on purpose. It says, we spend precious hours fearing the inedible. It would be wise to use that time adoring our families. This person did not adore you in a family dynamic, in a union. Okay, that's why it's in the reverse. The four of ones talks about uh, conflict, uh, instability. It talks about uh, cancellation. Some of you guys canceled this uh, partnership, this relationship, or this commitment with somebody that that you felt like didn't show you compassion or love here, okay? They listened to other individuals here. This is somebody that held out on you on purpose. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot. Seven of Wands in the reverse here. This person is fearing a lot, a lot of obstacles, a lot of losses here. That, that tower is in effect right now here. This is somebody that you unstuck yourself from, okay? With the hangman in the reverse. This is somebody that could have released you too as well. And went on to other avenues here. Other options here. Because like I said, the king of wands in the reverse. He could be very harsh. Okay. They released you. They let you go. Okay. Divine feminine. Wow. Four, uh, <laughs> four pentacles in the reverse. And they stood on that shit. This is somebody who now is now facing snack, stagnation. Stag stagnation without you here. This is somebody that wanted control, greed. They're losing control here. They were greedy. Self-centered. Yeah, this is somebody you release heartache from. Yeah, and you don't want to have a conversation with them. This is somebody in uh, separation from you. Now, uh, three of swords in the reverse. You let go of this person. You've moved on. You've healed yourself from this person also. Okay. This is somebody who faced a lot, a lot of delays, okay, because they were materialistic. The Four of Pentacles talks about being materialistic. Like I said, they could have went around here. This is a cycle here. It's just giving me cycles. Some of you guys went through a cycle, karmic cycle with this masculine energy out here, okay? And you end it. You put an ending to it. You wrapped that shit up and you moved on. You separated yourself because you were facing a lot of obstacles, a heartbreak, losses, pain. Okay, this person also let you go for even before you can pack up your shit to walk out the door. They already had let you go. Yeah, and they went on towards somebody of their match. 
okay? And they're both unprotected. They could have went towards a witch, okay? A queen of wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody that was more on their speed here. Somebody that was into that addiction, that lust, okay? That greediness, okay? This is a gold digger here. They met, they match. This is what it's giving me. And you, you went on to happiness here. You start over completely fresh here. You're not depressed. You're not sad. You're not heartbroken here. Even though this person may have held out on you on purpose, okay? I felt like you were not healed at the time, too. You could have been unhealed, okay? Divine feminine, divine masculine. I could be talking to you, okay? I could be talking to anybody in the collective here that has went through heartbreak, heartbreak here. This person wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation because, like I said, uh, they regret listening to other people. They could have listened to this this gold digger here. This person that is promiscuous too. That is whorish too. They could have listened to this person. And got y'all separated here. Judgment. Third party. I cannot make it up. Come through, spirit. Come through. They held out on you on purpose. They were slow to attend to your needs here. Just because this person was unhealed. Okay, they could have had some childhood wounds that they needed to be healed. Also, you could have wounds that you could have needed to be healed. Because like I said, some of you guys, you went off to find better. You, you awoken here to what this person was doing to you with the judgment out here. And this person is fearing the inedible because they know what they did to you. They celebrated with other people. This could have been a friend of yours. This could have been a friend of theirs that they they celebrated with. Okay? They copulated with. Okay? They had sex with. Take it how it resonates with you. And they're on the judgment here. This person and uh your person, your ex here or somebody, your old ex is under uh judgment. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. High priestess in the reverse. They listen to a witch. Mm, 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 mm. And the secret is out about this this person they 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 went on to after you. Now they want to have a heart to heart conversation with you, and I don't think that's possible. Collective, you're not allowing this person back into your energy. You know they dark. You know they uh, lustful. All they want to do is come in to probably sex you up, thinking that it's gonna be uh, fulfilling to you after you don't went through all of this. This betrayal here, this is what it's giving me. Yeah. Six of swords in the reverse. This person don't want to let you go either. And whoever they with don't want to let them go either. And they're unprotected. You protected here, divine feminine, divine masculine. What is the seven of uh, wands and the queen of wands in the reverse here, spirit? Mm, magic. Wow, 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 wow. A manipulator. Someone just like this person. With the magician here that plays with tools here, spiritual tools here to manipulate this person. Could have manipulated this person right out of commitment with you guys. 1818 on the clock. As I said that, this is somebody that pushed you far away here. Okay? Until you, I'm hearing activation. This person activated your awakening. Okay? They pushed you to the edge here. And you were in some type of karmic cycle here, run along with a third party, okay? Until they push you out for this third party. Damn. Because it was all about control and greed here. This person wanted more sex. Whether that was with you in this third party, they pushed you out of it. You probably didn't realize that you were in a third party, okay? But you were. Three of Cups, you were. This person was celebrating when somebody could have been traveling to this third party or could have worked with this third party. Take it however it resonates. This could have been a friend of yours or theirs. Somebody you guys could have uh, celebrated with together and later find out that you uh, had a friend that was in fact in attracted to your mate here. Okay? That was sleeping with your mate. Take it however it resonates here, man. They're on a heavy judgment. Ooh. Spiritual jail. This person is trapped. Can't move. Stuck. Somebody could be in physical jail. 
or they feel in their in spiritual jail because of the way they treated you. They feel, they they could have acted single with the nine of pentacles here when they were in a relationship with you. This is somebody that flaunted around like they didn't have somebody at home. Okay? Nine of pentacles energy because they were greedy here. They wanted to be abundant in sex or fraternize with people on the outside of your relationship. And you were protected from this witch. King of Swords energy. They also could be in this bitter ass energy with this person there in the, they got their fucking house upside down. They're facing a lot of instability, unstableness over there, whoever they with here. This Queen of Wands energy. Like I said, you could be protected spiritually from this person because they were doing magic here the uh the high priestess in the reverse to the magician of course yes they were yeah ace of wands and you stepped into your new opportunity here like i said they were manifesting this person could have been manifesting also your ex here to leave you here they were doing some skills here, doing some magic work here. Yeah, this person is tired. They're burnt out. Your, your, your ex here is burnt out of this person, this queen of cups. In the reverse here, she could be crying all the motherfucking time. Justice is served. They're going to have to face this inedible. They're fearing this. Because like I said, this this person could be codependent on them now because they were acting single when they were in some type of relationship with you, when they were in some type of karmic connection with you. They were acting single out here. And this is what draw this person in, this third party. You guys could have been in the third party. You could have been a third party or the third party child taking out of a resonance here. Now they want to come in and have a heart to heart conversation. But you know this person put burdens on you. Okay. You know this. But you're coming up out of them burdens because they're in the reverse. You're free now. You let go of this person. And it's just like they don't want to let go. And they don't want to face these burdens that they got with this person now. It's too late for that. Debts are piling up. Shit is piling up. The inevitable is going to happen if it hadn't already to the friends and family or co-workers of this person. They could have lost a job here with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They're not so skilled at their crafts. They're not so skilled in the bedroom here. They're not so skilled at the job because they're losing their stress. They're fearing the inedible. They held out on you and breadcrumbed you on purpose. They were slow to interact with your needs meet you halfway here have an equal give and take to you but it wasn't it wasn't equal it wasn't not they were sharing with other people okay this is messed up now they want a heart to heart conversation it's too late it's too late for that you got a crazy person on your hand that dibbles in dark magic how you going to get yourself out of that? That's what you need to focus on. This person was a, elusive. They were a liar here. Very deceptive. Very dishonest here in y'all's connection. They kept a lot of things hidden from you. And a web of lies here. Now they caught up now. Spirit is whooping this person ass. They're thinking now. They missing you, craving you, desiring you. Because this person still is unhealed. They came to some type of realization who they were in connection with. Now this house is not a home over there, wherever they are. It, they got an epiphany. They awaken. You realize shit too, that you were in fact in a karmic circle, a karmic cycle with this person. And you had to walk away. Collective, you did. You're not so divine masculine here. Okay? What else here? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of conflict. It was a lot of conflict, too, when they deserted you. They released you with the hangman energy here. They sacrificed the connection. <sighs> Clashing, differences, incapabilities, okay, or incapability. They're not even compatible with this person that they with. Thank you, spirit. They're not. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, 
and they house has, is not a home. This family has busted up too because there were a lot of dishonesty, okay? You were in a third party connection, toxic cycle, whether you knew it or not. Yeah, this storm is finna happen. This tower is gonna fall if it hadn't already. <laughs> and they're thinking about it. They don't want, they fearing it. It says turmoil, unstable, affected. <laughs> yeah, they getting all that shit back. Silent, frozen, no words, stonewall. Ooh, child. Ain't nobody got shit to say now. They ain't got nothing to say now. Divine feminine. This is your not so divine masculine who put you in a karmic cycle with a third party. Okay? Now they're facing a lot of shit and that, that, this third party try to curse you with magic here. Dark high priestess to the magician. Yeah. She tried to curse you and your connections here. Under the bottom of the deck. Now somebody is in full regret because they didn't stand up for you. They didn't stand up for the connection. They didn't care. They were thinking with their dick. Okay? I really hope this helps someone. I hope it gives you clear and concise answers that you need. Again, this has been Goddess Nicole Terrell. Mwah. Peace, love, and light to your collective. Until next time, bye. I stay safe, and I love you guys. Take care.